Wavetable synthesis was originally invented by Max Matthews at Bell Laboratories in 1958. Using his Music 2 software running on an IBM 7094, he was able to generate a digital oscillator with 16 different wave shapes. This technology laid fairly dormant until 1978, when PPG created the Wave Computer 360. The Wave Computer was the first recognizable commercially available wavetable keyboard, making large breakthroughs in practical applications for the tech. This concept was further refined in 1981 with the release of the Wave 2. With 8 voice polyphony, 32 wavetables, and 64 waveforms, this keyboard made a big splash in the music industry. Although the Fairlight CMI and Synclavier had recently made their debut, the distinguishing factor that set the Wave 2 apart was that it wasn't quite focused on traditional sampling methodologies. The PPG method used much shorter single-cycle waveforms as the source material and could be used on its own without the need for a terminal. It was truly its own form of synthesis. In addition to the complex digital oscillator, the Wave 2 also had more recognizable features of analog synthesizers of the era, such as an analog filter, envelopes, and LFOs. In 1989, Waldorf, with the help of ex-PPG employees, released the Microwave, which was a condensed and evolved version of the Wave 2 in rack mount form. The Microwave brought this originally expensive technology into a much more accessible form factor. In 1993, the Waldorf Wave came along and reintroduced the hands-on feel of the original Wave 2, solidifying its spot as a legendary tool for the job. Since 1993, Wavetable technology has been found in all different sorts of software and hardware. In the Eurorack world, industrial music electronics, synthesis technology, and you guessed it, 4MS, have also made many iterations on this theme. The late Paul Schreiber was instrumental in creating one of the most important tools of the modern era for wavetable creation, called WaveEdit. WaveEdit lets you create and manipulate wavetables while demoing them in real time. The files can be exported to many different compatible formats. Metamodule runs VCV Rack's Wavetable VCO, which allows you to load wavetables of your own creation or any other pre-made wavetable files of your choice. This patch uses two wavetable VCOs, morphing through wavetables from the Moffensief Stargazer. An LFO slowly sweeps through the wave selection, creating a rich timbral shift over time. Special thanks to Perfect Circuit Audio, who did a write-up on the history of wavetable synthesis last year. This video references the research and images they compiled. There's a link to the article in the comments. Happy patching!